will be to hire a planner very much. Um, we are still examining our various alternatives. Um, we looked at the possibility of using in-house uh, in our engineering department that have some planning skills and so forth. Uh, that is one option that we are considering. Another option would be to contract, for example, with the Regional Planning Commission. We've not had conversations with them yet. Um, the third is to advertise for an urban planner and or to contract with an urban planner on a contractual basis as opposed to hiring one as an employee. I think it's very important that we discuss this in some detail. I think it's very important that we obtain a, a skilled and experienced urban planner to lead us through this process. Are you going back to the consultants for recommendations for that? We intend to. I have a handwritten note here. That's and I have discussed this with an ask. Initially, we're going to ask Mr. Buki if he has any recommendations. Uh, number two, we probably would ask him for some job descriptions you know, to, to describe the, the position that we would like to hire. And at that point, then we're going to consider, again, the three or four alternatives that we have. But I think that we need to get a good job description from Mr. Buki, as well as his input as to um, you know, the type of individual that, that we're looking at and the type of skills that we're looking at. We need somebody both on the vision side of the the process, the, you know, the, the, the architectural and the planning skills on, on that side of it, as well as the experience in seeking grants and in implementation. I think it's going to be probably difficult to find someone uh, that, that is very, very capable and, and qualified on both items. So, uh, is there a precondition that uh, how much money Canton puts in? to the comprehensive plan will be based on uh, having these folks in place doing an analysis um, or is it uh, timely now to talk about how much money Canton might put in uh, I think it's initially? Now for us to discuss. I think that's somewhere down the road and I think that's going to be an ongoing you know, issue over actually not only months but, but years into the future as well. But I think that really the, the first thing, again the first two things is this smaller steering committee to head us down the right yes. path to set up the structure that we need. But the second is, and I think the most valuable person associated with this whole idea is going to be the the planner himself or herself. Absolutely. <laughs> From this uh, vantage point, uh, just uh, having finished um, over three months in office, how important of a piece going forward uh, is this comprehensive uh, plan uh, for the future of Canton? As has been discussed, you know, numerous times, Canton has been without a uh, comprehensive plan for probably five decades. Um, I think, and, and we think, and again, I, I do give great credit to uh, uh, Fonda Williams for the work that he has done in shepherding this thing through uh, from the very uh, beginning and, and through council vote tonight, as well as through the planning commission. Uh, but. We have not had a plan in place for five decades, so I think this is very important. It provides a framework you know, for us to go forward with regard to the manner in which we prioritize our spending of money, um, the areas that we spend our money in, and uh, just, again, just the concept of creating a public-private partnership, which we really have not implemented uh, uh, to this point in time, as well as hiring a professional planner. So I think that the document provides us all of that direction and we now need to begin the small steps to implement it.